which you guys are going to be going about fixing this Windows Update Error 0x800 7064 and uh, we're going to be taking a look at how we can try to resolve it in uh, this video. Now if you are uh, running uh, Windows Defender you may get an error message when you try to update uh, your Windows 10 machine and I'll show you what the error looks like right now. As soon as you go down to the settings pane here and then you go to update and security and then you click on check for updates what generally happens is it will start checking for updates and then you'll get an error kickback in the uh, update error box up the top here you can see that's the error it's kicking back so we're going to go ahead and try to fix and resolve this issue you can see this one is definitions update for windows defender so the first thing we're going to do here is come down to the search box and type cmd right click on this and run this as administrator this will open up the command prompt box so i'm just going to type and paste these uh, commands in now what this is going to do is remove all of the uh, definitions on this machine and the reason why i want to do that is just in case they're corrupted and then i want to run this command underneath and this is going to download all the latest signature updates for Windows Defender. So we've removed all of the uh, definitions on Windows Defender and now we're going to install all the latest ones just in case there's a corruption there somewhere and uh, that's the what we're going to try first. So once we've done that we should be okay there. So what we're going to do is move on to the next step. Now obviously if this has resolved your issue you don't need to continue but if you are still having issues, you may want to open up Troubleshooter uh, by putting Troubleshoot inside the search box. Go into the Windows Update section and run the Troubleshooter from here. And this will try to uh, fix any issues that you've got with the Windows Update. There may be a problem with it. And uh, if there is, you can apply uh, the fix. So you can see here. It's going to apply this fix. So I'm just going to quickly apply this and it will run through another bunch of tests. And now we can apply this fix as well. Now, hopefully, this will resolve the issue. But if it doesn't, I'll show you some other things that you can check and try to fix and resolve your problem. So we'll just let this finish off. Let me go potential, potential Windows update database error detected. So I'm going to close this box off here. And what we're going to do next is try to fix the .NET Framework. Now, sometimes the .NET Framework can kick up an error. I'm going to download the uh, repair tool for the .NET Framework. So what I'll do is I'll download this and uh, we'll run this and hopefully this will uh, repair the .NET Framework on this Windows 10 machine, just in case there's an issue there. So I'm just going to accept their terms, go next. I let it go ahead. You can see here re-register Windows uh, installation service and a bunch of other things here. So we're going to go next here and uh, let it repair this. So go next. And then what this will do is it will collect a load of logs and you'll be able to check those logs out and try and find out where the error is. Sometimes this does point to the uh, .NET framework and there's the path for all those actual log files that is created so we can finish this one off and move on to another fix if there's not this hasn't resolved your issue so let's move on down to the uh, search area here and uh, we're going to type in here cmd again and run this as administrator again little command prompt box will open up now we're going to do sfc space forward slash scan now and what this is going to do is scan for any uh, corrupt system files or any problems with the, the operating system so just let that run through and uh, hopefully uh, this will resolve the issue so this will take a bit of time so you're just going to have to be patient and let this run through so you should see um, a little counter there going down percentage wise I'll speed this process up 90% 99% there we go and then what it will do is it will display some information uh, down below here. 
and you can see Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and success, successfully repaired those. And uh, now what you can do is run this one here. And this one is uh, the dism command. So we're just going to run this one as well because I have got problems here. So just type that into the uh, command prompt box there. I will leave all of these commands in the video description so you can just copy and paste them like I'm doing here. It makes it a lot easier. Save you typing them out. And then once you've uh, entered that in, again, this will take a bit of time. So be patient, just leave the machine alone, let it work away. But I'll speed this process up so it doesn't uh, take too long. There we go. So what it's done now, the, um, this is restored the operation, completed successfully. So that's now done. I'm going to move down to the search box. I'm going to type CMD again and run this as administrator here. So what we're going to do now is inside the command prompt box, we're going to rename the software distribution folder. So we're going to stop some uh, services here and uh, you can see the bits. We're going to stop this and we need to stop these so we can actually uh, rename the software distribution folder to software distribution dot back. Now this is where all your updates that you've been downloading uh, are stored and when it installs them. And once we finished a uh, rename that we can restart these uh, services here. So I'm just going to go ahead and restart these now. We've renamed it. And I'll show you exactly what it's done in a second here. So let me just quickly uh, go to that location, which is a Windows software distribution. Now what can happen is sometimes this gets corrupted and uh, you need to clear this out. But you can't just delete all the contents in it because obviously it's in use. So you need to stop those services so you can empty uh, that. Uh, folder out and you can see I've created a backup just in case here now yours may be gigabytes in size but you can see there's a new one Windows will automatically create a new one as soon as you uh, rename the old one next we need the caproot uh, 2 folder to be emptied and uh, we can do this by typing these commands out here so you can see I'm making a backup of the uh, original folder so that's always advisable to make a backup of the original folder and now we can delete all the contents inside that cat root uh, to folder so all we need to do here is go to that location and delete all the contents inside here and this is in system 32 now of course you can create a batch file to do this all for you if you want to I do have those on my forums but you can uh, go into here, you can see it's created uh, a backup here. So I'm just going to go inside here and uh, delete these contents inside here. Now, sometimes what can happen, these get corrupted as well. And by doing this, it just helps with the updates and sometimes it can resolve uh, the issue. So I'm just going to quickly delete those. OK, so they're all removed. Now we can restart those services again. So you go net start. So we did net stop to, to stop it and now net start uh, with the service that you want to start at the end. So we're going to start that up. And uh, what we're going to do here is go down to settings here and see how we are going. Update and security and see if our problem has been resolved. So just let that um, check for updates. If we get an error message, then we've still got an issue. But if it is resolved, you should start getting your downloads uh, for your updates coming down. So still checking. And there we go. You can see the uh, definition updates for Windows Defender is now starting to come down. We're not having any issues there. So that means our problem has been resolved. It's now starting to install. And that's basically how you can resolve that issue. Anyway, that's about it for this video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Uh, videos will be here and there over the Christmas period, so I hope you uh, understand that. And I hope everyone has a lovely Christmas, and I shall see you again for more videos uh, real soon. Have a great weekend, guys, and a great time over Christmas. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.